गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू ऑडियो वीडियो क्लियर सो वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस लाइव लेक्चर सेकेंड लेक्चर इन द सीरीज सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग नाउ नंबर सिस्टम यूनिट नंबर सिस्टम यूनिट सेकेंड लेक्चर डिजिट्स एंड प्लेस वैल्यूज इज द टॉपिक वी आर डिस्कसिंग टूडे सो प्लीज मैंशन दस ऑफ यू आर लाइव नाउ वेदर द ऑडियो वीडियो इज क्लियर yes so let's start for those new students this is a, a course we have designed for the upcoming upsc exam and for other exams also like cscr gate and other exams also but the previous year questions will be discussed from upsc csat question papers only uh, so uh, invite all of your friends who are preparing for upsc exam or C, uh, cscr net exam or gate exam or any other similar competitive exam for the new people my name is christy burgess more about me you can see here these are the books i have written for general aptitude and the upcoming book for vedic maths and for cscr net there is a complete course available in the mobile application christy's classes for gate also we will be bringing complete courses and the flashcard series for upsc csat flashcard series for cscr net general aptitude are available in the mobile application christy's classes for you to purchase and these are the details of the complete course we are offering for CSCR net general aptitude and if you want free study materials from us you can join our website christyvergus.in the youtube channel this youtube channel mobile application whatsapp group telegram channel all under the name christy's classes you can find it in the description of the vi this video you can find the link to access it or just scan these qr codes you can join these resources easily and in this youtube channel there are materials for all most uh, uh, all these competitive exams and speed maths also especially for upsc there are many videos already uploaded for gate there is a complete course uploaded in this channel and for uh, cscr net uh, a lot of content is available for cscr net also and for speed maths or vedic math learning also there are there is separate playlist for it so make use of this and share it with your friends and hit the bell icon and the subscribe button so that you will not miss any updates from this channel and this is a complete schedule of this uh, course yesterday was the first lecture types of numbers in number system we have discussed today we are discussing digits and place value digits and place value so yesterday just a quick recap we discussed about the types of numbers and how to draw the venn diagram or how we can represent these numbers and the chair analogy we have discussed how to understand chair analogy and how that will be helpful to do questions also and arithmetic of odd number even number also we discussed about prime numbers in particular we discussed uh, how to identify prime numbers the important prime numbers and properties of prime number this we will be discussing in upcoming class so today's topic is digits and place values in school you have learned about place value face value etc i will come to that or i will revise that before that i just want to ask you very some very basic questions for example when you write numbers 1 2 3 4 when you write or when you read numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 after that you immediately say 10 and you write 1 0 why it is 1 0 why can't it be 9 9 why can't it be 2 0 why can't it be uh, 4 3 1 it can be any number now why it is 1 0 itself that understanding is important to understand how other number systems are created the number system we use are is called decimal number system decimal number system means a number system which have only 10 numbers in it 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that numbers only or that digits only are there in the decimal number system that is why it is called deci that is base 10 number system but if you want to understand about other number system you should know how numbers are created or how uh, this digits are used to create numbers yeah yeah the basic question i asked after 9 why it is 10 why can't it be something else yeah basically that is just a normal order using permutation combination we are just keeping an order how to understand that you can understand 1 instead of 1 you write 0 1 then 0 2 then 0 3 then 0 4 then 0 5 then 0 6 then 0 7 then 0 8 then 0 9 after that it is 1 0 now it will make more sense 
0, 0 is there. First, all 0, 1, 2, 3 up to 9 is written. Now, in the decimal number system, there is no more digit available. Now, as combination of the digits already used, then only you can write the next number. As combination of digits used means, we used all combination with 0 in the beginning. 0, 0, 0, 1 up to 0, 9. Now, all numbers with 1 in the beginning, that is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 up to 1, 9. That is 1 in tens place, then all digits 0 to 9 up to 99. Then what we will do? All permutation combinations of two digits are completed. Then we have to reimagine this two digit numbers as three digit number with 0 in the beginning. All two digit numbers can be considered as three digit number with 0 in the beginning. Na? That, that means all permutation combinations of 0 in the beginning or 0 in the left is done. So, 1 in the left, all permutation combination, you have to start writing 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1 up to 199. Likewise, it will go up to 999. Now, all permutation combination of 3 places are done. Then, you have to reimagine numbers as 0 beginning 4 digit number. So, this is how any number system is created. You may feel this is so trivial. What is there so special about this? Because we already know. After 9 it is 10 because we have by hearted it. That is why it is not very special. But if you understood this, you can create any number in any number system. For example, binary number. In computers it is binary number. Na? In binary number after 1 it is 10. Why it is 10? Same logic I told you now. First you in binary means binary means base 2. Only 2 digits are available 0 and 1. So, when you write 0 as a number and 1 as a number, all one digit combinations are completed. So, you have to reimagine this numbers as two digit number with 0 in the beginning. All two digit number with 0 in the beginning is completed means two digit number with 1 in the beginning you have to start writing. 1 in the beginning, then 1, 0, 1, 1. So, all two, di all two digit number with 0 and 1 in the beginning is done. 0 and 1 are the only digits available. Now, you have to reimagine these numbers as 3 digit number with 0 in the beginning. Then 3 digit number with 1 in the beginning. Are you understanding the point? If you understood this, any number system you can create. For example, base 7 number system. Only 7 digits. 0 to 6 are the 7 digits. So, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6. All 2 digit number with 0 in the beginning is done means all 2 digit number with 1 in the beginning you should start writing. Same order, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, up to 1, 6. There, after 6, it is 10. That is 6 mango plus 1 mango is 10 mango in base 7 number system. And in binary number system, 1 mango plus 1 mango is 10 mango. I don't know whether you remember, in school day, like 7th class or 8th class, in electronics in physics chapter, sorry, physics electronics chapter, you have learned 1 plus 1 is 10 in binary algebra. Because after 1, the next immediate number is 10. That is what it is told. Why after 1, next immediate number is 10? The reason we just discussed. So that way you can have a better understanding of number system if you understand how numbers are written, how numbers are formed in any number system. All of you are clear this much what I told. And this can be extended further to understand addition, multiplication, etc. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> that we will do later. Exam point of view, that all are not very important. That is why that we will skip for the time sake. So now, place values. I told you there are many number system, base 10. There are infinitely many number system. But base 10 number system, we are more, uh, uh, more uh, interested in. Because in all our daily life situation, in all the transaction, currency, everything is in decim decimal number system. So that is why we are more concerned about decimal number system. In decimal number system, how place values are written, let us understand. What is place value first of all? And what is face value? For example, 718. The 7 here is 700. Na? How we pronounce it? 718. So this is not 7, this is 700. Or 700 is the place value of this digit 7 here. Position of the digit in the number represents the place value. But face value of 7 is just 7 itself. Actual value of that digit. 
So place value, face value difference, I hope you all understood. If you understood that, this place values, using place value, you can represent any number in general. For example, 23. When you write 23 as 2, 3, we know that 2, 3 means 20 plus 3. Isn't it? Yeah, that also seems so obvious. But if you understand that, then you can write numbers in general. So 10 into 2 plus 3, that is in general, if A and B are digits, 10A plus B will be the number we can write. 10A plus B. All of you are getting? If it is 3 digit number, it is 100A plus 10B plus C. 4 digit number, 1000A plus 100B plus 10C plus D. For example, 423. It is 400, 210, 13. That is 4 into 100 plus 2 into 10 plus 1 into 3. I hope all of you are understanding. So this idea is also very important. Okay. Now with questions, I will explain more. Otherwise, questions will not be able to be covered. Uh, so these two, at least two digit and three digit number you should know. Yeah, if you are writing X and Y as digit, 10X plus Y. A and B as digit, 10A plus B. So place value also we discussed already. Place value, face value difference also we discussed already. So this is a common question in most competitive exams. This was asked in UPSC. This was asked in CSAR. This was asked in GATE also. So same question was asked. So please try all of you. It's a very good question based on digits and place value. All of you try it and please mention if you got any answer. If you're not getting mention that also. Have an interaction in the live class. That will be wonderful. Otherwise the live session will be monotonous. And those who are watching the recording also. It will feel like it is not a dynamic session. So please respond or please. Uh, if you're getting answer mention that. If you're not getting answer just mention that also. Okay, some of you got an answer, so I'll start explaining. A printer numbers the pages of a book starting with 1 and uses 3089 digits in all. In total, 3089 digits. How many pages does the book have? Okay, so some of you are not understanding the meaning of the question. Huh? Okay, if understanding meaning of the question is the challenge, I'll do one thing. I will show you another question and then come back to, we will discuss both the question together. This was a 2017 CSAT question. This was a 2019 CSAT question which I just showed you. This is 2017 question. This is little more easier to understand. Try this also and we will discuss both the question together. And the same question was asked in CSAR net exam. Those who are CSAR net aspirants, instead of uh, 150 pages, they have asked 2019, sorry, instead of the previous question uh, where it was 3089 digits, in CSAR it was asked 2019 digits, same question itself. So, 
first the this question please write and we will discuss all these questions together please try it Due to lack of time, I will start explaining what is the total number of digits printed if a book containing 150 pages. In the previous question, number of pages was not mentioned. Total digits was mentioned. But here, total digits is not mentioned. Number of pages is mentioned. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up to 150. In the beginning of this class, I started with how numbers are formed. That idea, if it is there in your mind, it will suddenly click in your mind where all numbers are present, where all two digits are present, where all one digits are present, then it will be super easy. I will explain how. So, this is the unit digit, tens digit and hundreds digit. Na? There are two ways of doing this question. One way is look at unit digit only first of all numbers. We want to know total how many digits are used. Na? Digits means individual digits for example 243 243 2433 digits are there so sir 1 to 150 page numbers means 150 pages all those page numbers will have unit digits na unit digits will be there for all those pages so 150 will be the total number of unit digits and tens digit starts from only one zero that is 10 onwards that is for the first 9 numbers, 10th digit is absent. 10th digit is absent. No 10th digit. 10th digit starts only from 10 up to 150, 10th digit is present. That means if you count all the 10th digit, it will be 150 minus 9. Why 150 minus 9? The first 9 numbers does not have 10th digit. So 150 minus 9. Similarly, hundreds digit if you analyze, hundreds digit if you analyze, hundreds digit starts from 100 onwards, na? up to 99, no, hundreds digit, 100 to 150, so that is 150 minus 99, why 99, because the first 99 numbers does not have hundreds digit, so 10 unit, digits in unit digit, digits in tens digit, digits in hundreds digit, added you will get total number of digits. Digits in unit digit is 150, digits in tens digit is 150 minus 9, 141 and digits in hundreds place, hundreds not digit, digits in hundred place will be 150 minus 99 that is 51. Adding these three you get the answer. I hope all of you are getting the point. So 200, 300, 342 will be the answer. This is one way of doing that is looking at unit place, tens place, hundreds place. Another way of doing it, one digit, two digit, three digit number, such a distinction can also be made. How? For example, if I divide 1 to 9, 10 to 99, and then 100 to 150, this way if you divide, and then count how many digits. 1 to 9, 9 digits, every digit have one digit only. So total number of digits is also 9. But if it is 10 to 99, it is two digit number. 10 to 99, how many numbers are there? 99 minus 9, 90 numbers. 99 minus 9, 90. Because 1 to 99, 99 numbers. First nine numbers does not have, are not two digit numbers. So 99 minus 9, 90 numbers. And 100 to 150, it is not 50 number, 51 number. This 90 numbers have two digits each. So 90 into 2, 180. This 51 numbers have 3 digits each, so 51 into 3, 153. Adding this digits of 1 digit number, 2 digit number, 3 digit number, that will also give you 342. Did you understand that 2 approach? 1 is based on num 1 digit, 2 digit, 3 digit. Second is based on unit place, tens place, hundreds place. Clear? And if you understood this, the same idea is enough to do this question. 
But this question again, you can choose which is faster. Two approaches I told you. Here, what is the difference? In the previous question, total number of digits was unknown. Pages is given. In this question, pages is given. Digits is unknown. Digits is required unknown. In this question, reverse. Pages is unknown. Required unknown is pages. But total digits is known. So, literally, it is the same question only. This is known. So, how to do this? Very fast, I will explain. Pages 1 to 9, if you use the second approach, pages 1 to 9, all are one digit numbers. So, one digit number means one digit each. So, total digits used is 9 into 1, 9. Now, two digit numbers, pages 10 to 99. That is 90 numbers because 99 minus 9 we discussed in the previous explanation. So, 90 into 2, 180 digits used. Now, three digit numbers are from 100 to 999. But how I know that all three digit numbers are there? That is where you should use options. In all previous classes, I told you, you should be flexible with methods. When you are reading this question, the option give you confirm that confirmity that total number of pages are minimum four digits. Not minimum, exactly four digits. Because all pages have, all options have four digits. So all options are four digits. That is why up to triple nine, anyway, all numbers are used. Because after completing all three digit numbers, you can start four digit number. As I told, how number system is created due to that reason. So, 100 to 999, how many numbers? 1 to 999, 999 numbers. Out of that first 99 numbers are not three digit numbers. So, removing that 99, you will get 900 three digit numbers. Each of them have three digits each. So, 900 into 3, 2700 digit used. So, if you count all the digit used till 999, I am stopping till 999 because I don't know till where we have to continue four digit numbers. So, I add all these digits 9, 180 and 2700. I will get 2889 digits in total. But there are four digit page numbers also. And I first option is answer. There are 41 more page numbers. 1000 to 1040. And 1048 means 49 numbers more. 49 numbers more. So, that we don't know how many numbers are there. That is why 2889 digits we already used. Question is saying that total 3089 digits are used. So, the remaining digits 3089 minus 2889, 200 is the remaining digits. 200 is the remaining digits. 200 digits means how many pages? How many pages? 200 is the number of digits, not pages. This 200 digits are the digits of all four digit numbers or four digit pages used. Four digit pages literally says four digits are there. So if x four digit pages, 4x is the digits, that is equal to 200. So x is equal to 50. What is this x? Total number of four digit pages used. So already 999 pages. 1 digit, 2 digit, 3 digit combined, then 54 digit pages added, 1049. I hope all of you understood. Otherwise, if you are not okay with these steps, what you can do is after getting 2889, check each option. If first option is the answer, 1040 means 4 digit pages are 41. 41 pages will make 41 into 4, 160, um, 41 into 4, uh, 41 into 4, 1, uh, 164 but digits remaining is not 164 it is 200 likewise you can try each options also which part Shanti can you specify which part I will summarize this once more question says total 3089 digits is used for those people who are not understanding I will explain with the correct answer option C if option C is the answer, 1,049 digits are there. Na? 1,049 means there are uh, one digit number, two digit number, three digit number and four digit number. One digit number how many? Nine. Nine into one digit gives nine. Two digit number how many? Ten to ninety-nine. Ten to ninety-nine is ninety numbers. Every Each of them have two digits each, so one eighty. Three digit numbers are 100 to 999, that is 900. Each of them have three digits, that is 2700. Four digit numbers, if it is 1049, the answer, 
1000 to 1049, 54 digit numbers. Each of them have 4 digit each. That is 200 digits. Adding all these, you have to check whether you are getting 3089. Yes, it will get up to 3089. That is why option C is correct. Shandi, you mean how we identified this 9900? Is that what you mean? For that two digit number, 1 to 99 numbers, in that two digit numbers are only 10 to 99. That means out of 1 to 99, 99 numbers, first nine numbers are not two digit. Subtracting that, you get 90. I hope it is clear. So, as I told, this 2019 CSAT question and this 2000. Uh, 17 CSAT question are literally the same idea itself. Just vice versa, vice versa is asked here. Pages given, digits asked, digits asked. In the other case, digits given, pages asked. And CSAR net aspirants, same question asked in your paper. Instead of 3000, uh, 3089 mentioned, it is 2019 mentioned. Same question itself. I have given the solution here. In our telegram channel, uh, we will post the study material. You can check the link in the description. Okay, then one more question we will discuss. This question. This is another question asked in 2019 itself. Uh, Zarina, in an academy only my recorded videos are there because currently I am not associated with an academy. I am associated through my classes. I mean through my own platform, Christie's classes, mobile application there we are giving classes actually. Previous videos or previous courses I have taken in the platform will be there in an academy. That you can check out if you want. Okay, all of you try this question please. And new students do let me know uh, uh, how you feel about this course, anything more you want in this course, all those things you can ask. Uh, Sriju, 100 to 999, there are 999 digits, uh, 999, three digits, no? No, no, no. 100 to 999, only 900 numbers are there, no? 100 to 999. 1 to 999, 999 numbers are there. But 100 to 999 means you are skipping the first 99 numbers. So, skipping 99 numbers means 999 minus 99, only 900 numbers remains. 900 numbers, each of them have three digits each. So, 900 into 3, 2700 digits. Clear, Sriju? I think you got confused with the first approach. In the first approach, what we do is unit place you check. That way also you can check. Unit place for all 999 numbers, 999 unit places there. That is true. Digits in unit places is 999. That is 1 to 999. That way also you can approach that question. So try this question all of you. So if you are feeling this session is useful, definitely do hit the like button. That way YouTube will suggest this video to more and more people. And uh, if possible, try to share this playlist with more and more people so that more people can be part of this initiative so that I can also be more uh, uh, I can also invest more of my time on this initiative because it's a continuous 40 day uh, challenge I am giving to myself to continue the series for uh, 40 days so please motivate please encourage uh, by being more uh, or by uh, bringing more aspirants to this initiative <coughs> Any answers, all of you? Happy to see all many of my classroom uh, coaching students also being part of the session. Welcoming all of you, those of you are watching me live or recording. All the best for your upcoming exams also, UPSC, CSAT, UPSC exam. Let your CSAT section be very easy. Practice well through the series or not through the series. Practice well uh, before exam. Have a quick revision of all topics. That is why I, what I will suggest to the UPSC aspirants. And my CSA and Net and Gate students, you have a few more months extra than the UPSC aspirants because 
UPSC exam is on uh, June. Yeah, CSCR also. Most probably it will be June. Exam date is not announced. That's all. Okay, Sriju got an answer. Others so not getting mentioned, not understanding the question or what is the challenge. If time is the challenge, that let me know. I will give more time. Yes, Suhasini, for revision, previous year questions will be enough. But practice well and identify what all are the uh, shortcomings you are having when you are trying questions. Because when you practice previous year questions, you will get an idea that uh, some areas you need little more learning. So that way you can improve your preparation in my opinion. Okay, so I will explain this question. Yeah, time is almost 30 minutes. Uh, the series, I am trying to complete every lecture in 30 minutes so that we can uh, keep it as a discipline every day and that will be like more learning in lesser time that is the idea of the series okay coming back to this question just a minute i'll just The number of times a digit 5 will appear while writing the integers from 1 to 1000. It is very simple question actually. Here also, yeah, you have to see whether 1 digit, 2 digit, 3 digit, that way you have to analyze or unit digit, tens digit, hundreds digit, that way you need to analyze. Here, unit digit, ten digit, tens digit, hundreds digit, that way if you analyze it is super easy. Because unit digit 0, 5. 0, 0, 5, 0, 1, 5, 0, 2, 5, up to 0, 9, 5. All these one digit, two digit numbers have 5 in unit digit. Na? That itself 10 times. As I told, the order in which numbers are written that we discussed in the beginning of the class, that will help you to understand this better. 3, 5, 4, 5, up to 9, 5. That means 0 to 9, 10 times 5 is written. Then that is all about 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 in the hundreds place. 1 in the hundreds place, 1, 0, 5, 1, 1, 5, up to 1, 9, 5. That means 10 more times. Then 2, 10 more times. 3, 10 more times. 4, 10 more times. That means 0 to 100, 5, 10 times. 100 to 200, 10 times. 200 to 300, 10 times. Up to 900 to 1000, 10 times. So 10 into 10, 100 unit digits are 5 or 5 is occurring in the unit place 100 times. All of you are clear why 100 times in unit place. Same way think about the tens place or tens digit. 5 being in the tens place. When it will happen? For example, 50. 51, 52 up to 59. 10 numbers now. In 0 range itself. In 1 range, 150, 151 up to 159, 10 numbers. So, 2 range, 10 numbers, 3 range, 10 numbers, up to 10 range, 10 numbers, 10 into 10, 100. In permutation combination chapter, we will discuss about fundamental principle of counting. That is why it is 10 into 10. But that is quite obvious here to observe. Similarly, hundreds digit, 5 in the hundreds digit, 500, 501, 502 up to 599 100 numbers are there so 100 times 5 is occurring in the hundreds place so 100 100 100 total 300 times so 300 is the answer super easy now please respond is this clear or not very simple question any doubts many answers i can see in the chat different answers but hope now it is clear this is a summary of what I just told. Now, uh, yeah, I think today we can complete here. It's already 35 minutes. So, this is another question where I told you now a two-digit number can be written as 10x plus y. That idea you can use here. 
ratio of a two digit number 10x plus y forming by reversing its digits means 10y plus x that is this ratio that is why that uh, 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 representation of two digit number is very important that is equal to 4 by 7 as a homework try this you will get the answer so this was the CSAT 2019 problem so that's it uh, so basic idea of uh, this type of questions I hope it is clear this you can try as homework you can screenshot this and try it if you want or I will upload it in our telegram channel check the description for joining our telegram channel so this was a 2023 question on CS uh, of CSAT on the same type same idea itself yeah this question solution also I have added here you can check this out yeah I think we can stop the session here two three digit number written as 100x plus 10y plus z that was needed in this CSAT problem all of you any feedback anything you want to tell about the series tomorrow's topic is uh, yeah one more thing uh, in UPSC CSAT till now this conversion of number system was not asked in CSAR exam it was asked in gate exam it was asked but UPSC exam also if they want they can ask this area so if you want extra information check out this flashcard here everything is summarized how to convert decimal to binary or decimal to any number system or any number system to decimal so that idea you can learn from this uh, what is most important that is what we are discussing in the class but extra things you can use these flashcards to learn and once again reminding those of you want print uh, the ebook of flashcards all 100 flashcards you can buy it in mobile application Christie's classes and in our mobile application Christie's classes we have uh, uploaded uh, many free videos also check it out for different exams that also you can follow Siddhartha as it is a 30 minute series we cannot extend it to one hour uh, I want to keep it 30 minutes because to be frank I am two reasons it should be crisp and clear 30 minutes less less time more learning secondly I am taking this as you know this timing is 9 p.m. because I have about three four classes or some other uh, um, content preparation work for the whole day after that more than half an hour it won't be feasible for me but if more crowd is there maybe we will plan for a different series on a different time that I will guarantee if more crowd is coming if a good number of crowd is coming and more uh, students are interested in learning these series or learning these concepts definitely we will plan for something that is why I told you uh, for an educator the biggest motivation is more aspirants or more students being there for there in the class so if let your friends know all of you let it be a new revolution because I'm trying my maximum to give free learning or free education as much as possible from my side not like an attack platform can do but an individual can do whatever I can do from my side I'm doing my maximum so uh, you can check out the previous playlist yeah those of you want more learning the previous playlist itself covered a lot of content which exam you are preparing for that exam specific content is also there and most of the video are equally useful for other exams also that also you can use uh, this series we will be anyway keeping it 30 minute series itself but uh, if the uh, community is learn, uh, uh, growing more and more in a good number we will definitely plan for other initiatives also yeah just a, a personal and on a personal note i can tell this channel is not uh, like uh, uh, not a revenue based channel it is monetized definitely but it is not a, a um, like the revenue earned is not uh, not even uh, the amount i will get for a lecture i take um, outside for an for an institute or for any other plat uh, for any other platforms uh, I am working now or I'm uh, I have worked before but this YouTube I am keeping it as my personal like uh, I have to do something for students that is a primary objective for running this YouTube channel so uh, the monetization part is so negligible that that is not the motive that I am clarifying because I want to pass on that it is based on passion I am running this series or any other series in this channel so other paid courses definitely are there in my mobile application paid courses are there and in other institutes also paid courses are there 
but free initiatives it is out of my passion i am running as much as possible definitely if uh, more students are there we will plan for more such initiatives and those of you want to learn more on these topics i will suggest you whichever exam you are preparing this series will be helpful a new outlook series that also it is 30 minutes all topics basic theory more previous year questions discussion series so for extra practice this also you can use whichever exam you are preparing other playlists are exam oriented playlist if you are prepare CSCR preparing students you can visit those CSCR net title playlist UPSC preparing students you can check UPSC playlist uh, and gate preparing students gate playlist you can check and speed maths if you want to learn you can uh, go through the Vedic math speed math courses also okay so today also we uh, took 40 45 minutes that's okay tomorrow onwards we'll try to keep it 30 35 minutes itself yeah thank you so much for the uh, good words Sarina, suhasini krishna priya uh, all of you uh, thank you for attending the session siddhartha and all of you so thank you all of you and uh, please spread the word let more people be part of this initiative uh, and let more people be benefited and let me also be inspired inspired to uh, launch more such sessions so thank you all of you take care all of you see you all in the next class do comment on this video what you felt about this lecture. Thank you. Take care. Have a good night.